me. We in the city. We going, 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 Hey, what up, y'all? Man, I know y'all seen probably the best versus battle last night to date. I'm talking dope from start to finish. I'm talking Mr. Big, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Like, let's get it, right? How the hell is people turning that into, like, hating on Steve Harvey? Like, real talk. I'm not a Steve Harvey fan, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? But I think during the versus battle, he was... He was he was spot on choice to host it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't see nothing wrong that he did. People like, oh, he he was talking too much, yada yada yada. But you gotta understand something. Those was high sixty, and then Mr. Big and Ron Isley's case, high seventy year olds. He said he's seventy nine. So. They don't got the energy like Jeezy and all them jumping around, running around, blah, 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 performing and all that, man. So you need somebody of age, that age, that era. Steve Harvey said he was 64, I believe. So you need somebody that era, that age with, with stories that know how to carry a show. You know what I'm saying? And like, to be honest, when, when, when I saw him on there, I was like, oh man, because I'm not a Steve Harvey fan, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you know all the stuff that went down with him, what he said in the Monique situation with Netflix, and um, you know, just a, just, a, just a lot of stuff, you know, um, and a lot of people's not Steve Harvey fans, but the thing is with a lot of people, they can't give credit where it's due. They can't be real about a situation, you know what I'm saying? Um, he did a hell of a job hosting the show, man. Period. Whether you like him or not. He did a hell of a job hosting the show. You know? Um, he was telling his stories. And I mean, I'm pretty sure nobody really cared. But it was just the, the point of, you know, the guys had to get their, get their wits about them. You know what I'm saying? Catch their breath. Because they up singing at 70 years old. 80 years old. They up there singing, standing up singing. You know what I'm saying? Bringing energy. So, you know, and to me, he did what he had to do. He, he did a good job to me. I ain't gonna front. Now, like, all his, you know, Steve Harvey ventures, I'm not into that, you know? I, I kind of like, I wouldn't even say I canceled him. You know, I just don't agree, you know? And, and you know, I just, like a lot of people, we none of us really agree on it. Like I said, I'm not a huge Steve Harvey fan, but if, with anybody, if they do something worth praise, then they do something worth praise. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, I'm, I ain't saying go follow him on social media <clears throat> or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Just it is what it is. You know, that versus got nothing to do with him talking too much. Like, And you got to understand something too. He's a fan of theirs. He grew up on their music, you know, and the stories he told just reflected that. It, ha who's he gonna have hosted? Swizz and Timberland. You know what I'm saying? Who, who's you gonna have hosted? Couldn't have been nobody 30 years younger than Steve Harvey. Couldn't have been nobody 35 years old, cause they wasn't nowhere to be found. Couldn't have been nobody my age, 43. I wasn't nowhere to be found. You know what I'm saying? And and I wasn't having experiences to the music, like current experiences. When I was growing up, it was a different um, era of R&B, even though both groups were still out. But, you know, it, it, was a, it was a different sound. It was a new, you know, new sound. So it's like, man, but any, and, and my point is, that's what we do. That's what we do. No, no, no other group, no other group would have hated on their people because that's that's what it was. People was hating. People was hating because they don't like them, 
And like I said, I don't like him, but I think he did a real good job hosting that show for what that was. He couldn't have hosted no rap concert. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't have, he couldn't have hosted no Mary J versus or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Because that, you know, it, that, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't call for what he brings to the table. You know, you feel what I'm saying? But, um, got to stop taking it like every little thing and running with it run it to the hills you know what i'm saying even if you even if you pull the cancel card on him even if you put a cancel shit on him or whatever but that don't mean he didn't do a good job hosting that show you know what i'm saying like it, that just is what it is you know that just is what it is he did it he did a he did a good job hosting that show he did i mean he didn't even do a great job he did a decent job he did what was called for in a, in a show like that you know what I'm saying he did what was called for in a show like that and that's just that's just all it is you know what I'm saying like yeah he voted for Trump and all that nobody agreed with that nobody agreed with that you know but a lot of people with money voted for Trump black or white you know what I'm saying it's just that he done did so much other stuff <laughs> you feel what I'm saying he done did so much other stuff that nobody agree with you know, including me. I don't agree with a lot of stuff he did. I don't I don't watch nothing that he do. But you mean to tell me he ruined that versus to y'all. Put that in the comment section. Did he ruin that versus? Or did he not? And be real. Never mind the hate. Did he ruin that versus or not? Cause I'ma say no. I'ma say he helped it and he paced it and spaced it out right where it was supposed to be spaced at you know what i'm saying so y'all let me know in the comment section man did did um did um did steve harvey mess up the verses or not like i said again i'm gonna say no but i just want to see because you know it's all our opinion you know because apparently 400 and something thousand people watched it throughout for like three hours so it wasn't ruined too bad you know what i'm saying and the thing is we was watching for the music the commentary is just a casualty of war when it comes to dealing with a bunch of um you know 60 plus guys from 60 to 80 them dudes range from 60 to 80 and realistically they range from 65 to 80 so i mean they wasn't about to they wasn't about to have energy throughout no three hour show you know what i'm saying like that, that just wasn't gonna happen i mean you could i mean it, and you could be like oh you could have got cedric to entertain it you could have you could have got dl hughley but they didn't they want they wanted steve harvey to host it and and you know you know the job he did wasn't wasn't so bad to be honest like i said we can't take what he does <clears throat> on an everyday basis or or, or a, a, con a consistent basis and base it on everything he does because last night in the versus battle wasn't the case it just wasn't the case period you know what i'm saying now moving forward he come out with a talk show are we watching that probably not he host another game show is the ratings dropping? Probably so. But, you know, that's just like, um, like I said, man, that's just a casualty of war when it comes to, you know, the situation and what was called for in the versus battle. So, but all in all, to me, that was the dopest, that was the dopest versus, um, that skipped um the the Wu Tang one to me. That last night. That verse, you know, Earth Wind and Fire and the Isley brothers, that skipped that that went up to number one past the um past the Wu Tang one for me, man. So I don't know. I don't know how y'all feel about it. I know how y'all feel about Steve Harvey, but that don't change the fact that that was a dope versus and it was what it was. And it did what it was called for. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Drop the comment below. Did he ruin it or did he not? Let me know. Holler at me, man, if you haven't already. 
subscribe to the channel hit the like thumbs up throw, throw the thumbs up emoji down below all right y'all i'm out